So we're living in tough times. Nobody would dispute that. Uh, we'll get through them, of course. But at the moment, the world seems in turmoil. There is a challenge to our social systems. There's a challenge medically. There's an economic challenge. And you might wonder, and people do ask, well, can we afford to do things like, you know, looking for life beyond Earth or understanding the geological history of Mars in these trying times? And the answer to that, I'm going to be very blunt with you, is yes. And here's the reason. We don't, we don't stop the performance of music or the co composition of music, right? I mean, we, we, we do in 1912, there, you know, Europe was on the verge of war, and yet people were enthralled by Scott and Amundsen racing to the South Pole, right? We're always interested in exploration. Exploration is not just a nice thing to do. It's an essential thing to do for society. Many of you don't remember 1969. I turns out, happened to remember, 1969. And the big stories were, well, yes, there was, you know, John Lennon and Yoko were telling people to give peace a chance. And there were protests in the streets about the Vietnam War. Uh, there were all sorts of things going on in the world. And yet, and yet, what 1969 will be most remembered for a thousand years from now? That's one small step for man. When we landed on the moon. So... I'm telling you that exploration is something that is essential to us. It's part of who we are. It's not idle curiosity, because curiosity is not an idle thing. You can read my uh, writings on this subject uh, in the accompanying article, and frankly, it'll take you less time than it took you to look at this video.